Welcome back traders to Star Oasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. Today's video is about internal bar strength. Uh, this is a filter is uh, very popular. Actually, it's became very popular lately in the last three or four years, I guess. And it's actually losing its edge a little bit in some markets. But still, it's a very viable uh, filter and I use it in my strategies. And today we will build it in strategy context custom blocks and we will add it, add it to our block so we can use it in other strategies. This filter can be used as an entry or an exit signal or as a filter in any strategy. First of all, I'm going to describe it in case you don't know. This is the uh, normal uh, candlestick bar of any uh, financial instrument, open, high, uh, high, low, close, and low. So if the close uh, closes in the upper uh, quarter, let's consider the, a higher uh, bar strength. And if it closes at the bottom, it's considered a low uh, bar strength. And the, we don't care about the open since the relation is between the close and the high and the low. So as you can see here, even the close is low, it's considered high because it's closing in the upper quarter of the bar. So the way we will build it is we will go to Algo Wizard. And I just added these two because we're going to have two of them. One is for just comparing the last bar and that can be used for intraday. And then the other one is for daily. And the reason I put them differently is because if you want to measure the internal bar strength of the daily pattern on an intraday strategy. So that's why we need to build two. So uh, let's uh, start uh, building them. It's a very simple equation. We put division and minus on the left side and minus on the right side and here we will have the close minus the low and here we will have the high minus the low so as you can see from this equation it's the close minus the low divided by the high minus the low. Basically, the, the result of this equation will be from 0 to 1. Because if the close is, is right at the top, if the close is right here, then it will be the same as the high and the low. Like a close uh, equals to high, that means uh, division will be 1. And if the close is right at the bottom, then division will be 0. So zero meaning very weak and one meaning very high. And by the way, if, when you create this block, so choose a price level because this is not a condition. We're always calculating a price level. And uh, now the same equation, but we, we will only pick the close daily, low daily, high daily. Great. So now we have uh, both of them. So both same equation, except this one uses the daily uh, bar. So now we can easily use that uh, to build the strategy. So let's pick. Uh, obviously, I want you to know that by now we should know that the S and P five hundred is a mean reverting strategy, and any any indicator or a filter that uses a way to measure the dip to buy uh, should be profitable. We know this. So obviously, this is one of them. So, but we will use it in other markets to determine how uh, good it is. So let's pick the, uh, the SPY. And remember, if you're using the SPY, if I, as I showed you in a different video, uh, the SPY data and SQX is somehow not correct the further back you go. So we'll use SPY Yahoo. And let's leave the last two years. And shares, we'll put it size based, one cents per share, one cent slippage, and we'll use 100 shares. So we want to buy the dip. That's basically when the, 
So we'll pick our custom block. So when the internal block strength is lower than uh, 0.2. Remember, it goes between 0 and 1. So 0.2 is low. It's like RSI. 0.2 is like 20. So when the RSI below 20, you buy. And when it's above 80, you sell. Uh, and so, so on and so forth. So let's see what's uh, the effect of this. And run full backtest. No trades. Well, actually, we have one trade because we didn't send any exit. So here is the tricky part in SQ SQX. Uh, actually, it's a nuance in this platform. So first, I'm going to teach you how to exit on the same bar. You should know this by now. If you go to setting, trading option, exit at end of day and put zero here. So that's effectively close uh, the position at the end of the bar. And practically, you cannot achieve this unless you are sitting in front of your computer or you have some uh, session where you put back the timer around two minutes to close it. So let's use this. And I want to show you the difference. So here, for example, we entered on the 20th, we exit on the 20th, right? Because we set the, the exit at the end of the day. So this is the open and we're exiting at the close of the same day. Again, this is only to like find out, and, but uh, practically you have to program this differently in your platform in order to exit at the close of the bar. Because remember, close of the bar, you might not catch it. So you need to be like a couple of minutes depending on how big is your size and how liquid is the market you're trading. And then you need to set the time uh, a couple of minutes earlier to five minutes earlier to close the position. The other way is to close the next bar so if you set this exit after one bar that's two because here's how this is calculated let's say today is monday the equation says this bar is below two go long yesterday uh, sorry go long tomorrow and then by the time you find out you are long the bar is already done so it will set the exit the next day so hence, it will be two days and we can test this. So let's run a full back test. Oh, we should uh, switch this off. So now we can see that when we enter on the 20th, we enter on the 22nd, 23rd. Here there's a weekend. On the 3rd, we exit at the 5th, 11th, 13th, and so forth. We know how to exit the same day. We know how, how to exit two days later or more because once you set this to two, then it will exit after three and so on and so forth. But to exit exactly and at, after one bar, you need to trick uh, SQX. And the way you do that is by making the signal always true. So right now I'm only doing long and long exit. You see here, long exit signal. Of course, long exit signal, we have nothing. So if I remove that, then I'm only left with if my position is long. So theoretically, when, when it's executed, you should exit at the next bar. And we can try this. Let's make sure that the long entry, there's nothing here. And long exit, so run full back test. And now 2021. 23, 26, remember this is a weekend, 27, 28, 3 and 4. So now you know how to exit same bar, next day bar, or any bar after. And that's how the way to do it in SQX. Now let's get back to our strategy. So the strategy, like I said, it's good because any, <laughs> any mere reverting uh, strategy will do well on the S&P 500, except the last two years, which I left them uh, away so let's let's reset so actually let's look at this chart so this is ending 2017 it's made it made a new high in 2017 and let's get back and reset the dates and now we should include all data 
And so this is 2017. And you see after 2017, the stra strategy is struggling. And I guess it's because it became very popular or something. I cannot figure it out. But anyway, it's not performing as it used to be. It's coming back now, but remember, now it's 18, 19, and 20. For three years, we did nothing. And we had a huge uh, drawdown compared to, it his to its history. It's not huge, it's 21%. But compared to, it his to its history, it's huge. But the good thing is, uh, we can still use it. And remember, there is no filter here, nothing. So that's still usable. And as I told you, you can use the the opposite way as the exit. So we, I can use the long exit signal. So let's use the same block. And like it's an like an RSI, let's use point let's say nine. So we're doing seventeen and twenty two drawdown. Let's see if we use the exit signal. So it's, uh, we went from 17 to 19 drawdown, but we doubled the amount of money. So that's really a good way to exit. And look at the enhancement we did to the 2018 and to 2020. So amazing strategy. And this will work on many other markets. Of course, you need a basket of uh, markets. So I hope uh, this uh, was useful to you. If you need the uh, custom block, please let me know. It's really easy to build it, but uh, if you don't know how to do it, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help. And you can use this, uh, as I told you, as a filter for strategies or as a signal for entry or signal for exit. Please don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe so Google can push it to other traders. And until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you soon.